So I just would like to say something about uh, Hope for Africa. Uh, it is a uh, it is a 501c3. Uh, it's an international non-governmental organization with status at the United Nations um, Council of Economic and Social Development. Uh, we are have uh, our headquarters in Benin, and the president, the director, Africa director, is Mr. Ben Ajibodo. Uh, in Porto Novo, uh, Benin. Uh, we are involved in development. We've done a lot of work in, in education. We just finished educating a young man uh, from the King's Kingdom, from the town of Ganvier. And he is now getting ready to go back and open up a <laughs> clinic in Ganvier uh, to study um, for the research uh, on uh, malaria and diabetes and uh, bilhetsia, uh, the, the, the disease, uh, which um, attacks obviously the, the town of uh, Gambier because it's on the on water. The water. Uh, we have a relationship with, I was a former Fulbright professor to the Republic of Benin, and that's how I was blessed to be in contact with the king and Mr. Ajibodo. I taught at the University uh, Université Dabome Calavi from 2001 to 2003 in the, the Department of uh, English, or uh, Flash, that is a the faculty of letters, um, that arts and sciences we'd say here. Uh, and during that time, I had the pleasure of just being swooped up in, by Mr. Ajibodo Bena uh, and, and his family uh, and just taken care of. Uh, I was able to be brought deep into the tradition, into the culture, to learn and to study many things outside of teaching. Uh, and um, before I left, my students uh, came to me and uh, because I was always talking to them about their role in development. You have something to do. You can't wait on the government. You need to get out and do something yourself, make your own opportunities. You know, very American type of stuff. First they started saying, oh, Madame, you don't understand. Uh, but before I left, they, they came to me and said, uh, Madame, we'd like to start an NGO of students. It would be the first of its kind. Uh, we don't have any money, and we, uh, but uh, and we, so I said, you go and do the work. You draw up the papers, uh, and then we'll see what happens. And they did, and so we, we don't have the money now to to go to the proper authority and bureau to do it. So I just gave them that. I tell my family all the time that was the best ten thousand CFA investment I've ever made in my life, because that same organization now has uh, do, does marvelous work. They have um, done um, tr um, training and computer training for for schools from uh, from the middle school through high school, they have worked with um, with um, automation for the uh, members of mayor's offices, the mayor's office of Calavi, of uh, of uh, Potonovo, uh, of uh, Cotonou. Um, they uh, all the way up to Sabalu and Abome, yeah. all over the country. Uh, they uh, and every year we work with them to give out a prize to uh, a scholarship rather to the best performing students at the university. Uh, we just did that in, in June when I was there. Um, we've been doing that since maybe 2005 or something like that. Uh, so they have grown, and I've seen what young people in Benin can do. I've seen what young African people can do in Ghana uh, when, uh, when they are uh, well-directed and, and, and their talents are allowed Absolutely. to be uh, showcased. Uh, so I have great faith in the, the youth of Africa, the youth of Benin. Yeah. Uh, and with the help of the king, we also uh, have a program every uh, in December during uh, International AIDS Week. The king himself supports this program. He holds workshops in the, in the, in the uh, royal um, uh, compound for young people to come. We have three NGOs that work together uh, to sensitize young people to uh, the dangers of transmittable uh, de de sexual diseases, to just health in general and so on. And His Majesty spends the whole day right there. He doesn't come and make a cameo appearance and then leave. He comes, he stays, he talks to the, to the students, the, the young people, their parents come. And it's something we've been doing for uh, several years. We're very proud of that. This is a working king, I have to say that. He's a king of action. He doesn't sit in his palace uh, and wish that things would happen. And this is why he's here today. Um, and what he said about coming and offering uh, his, his apology. He said earlier, in my heart, when I was young coming up, I knew what happened and it always hurt me in my heart. But when I was invited by Wheelock in 2008 
I knew I had the opportunity to uh, make this apology. And he did so at the state legislature in Massachusetts and the city council halls of, of Boston and the churches of the, and the universities everywhere he went. So um, we are so proud and I'm so thankful uh, and blessed to be working with the king, with the kingdom, with Mr. Ajibodo and the great people of uh, Benin in general. And now I'll, I, I'm embracing you as uh, co-collaborators and workers in the struggle. And it's a pleasure Absolutely. to work with you.